Hi there. In this video, I'm so excited to have to show you how you can quickly set up and sell any digital product online using either your Google Drive as the storage platform or YouTube as the storage platform and then adding PayPal as the payment platform for it. So let's get straight into this and I'll show you how you can do this. You don't need a website. All you need is either a Google Drive or YouTube and a PayPal business account. And you need to go ahead and open a PayPal business account before you can do this. So let's get started. Now, I told you that you can either use the Google Drive or your YouTube account to actually be the platform that hosts the digital content that you have. So if you have videos, obviously, that's going to be hosted on YouTube, even though you can host it on Google Drive, but it's better on YouTube because you can create a playlist and things like that. I'm sure you could probably do it on, <laughs> on Google Drive, but I don't know how to do with that, but I know how to do it on YouTube. So we're going to use YouTube. So if you wanted to, you go to your videos, uh, shorts, you pass that, you post, you pass that, then you go to your uh, playlist. Now the object here is to generate the link, the shareable link, which is the link that the person who has purchased your product is going to have access to after they have been through the PayPal payment system. Okay, so you want to generate that link. And for the sake of this exercise, we're using a playlist link, uh, which we can generate right here. If you were using Google Drive to host your digital content, then you would create a folder and then you would load up the file into that folder. I did an exercise uh, recently. So if we go to uh, here, you open a folder, let's call it test two. You create that then you will open that folder and you will upload a file, which I'm going to do that. You upload a file to it and I'm uploading a video to it. <laughs> By the way, I could have uploaded a document or whatever digital content I want to sell. You upload that to it. So once it's done, uh, you then generate the link. So because I want to use this particular one that I've created, I'm going to show you how to generate the link so that the people, when you're doing, when you're doing this on Google Drive, you want the people who pay for your product to be able to access your content, be able to download it if necessary, but not be able to change it. So in order to do that, you have to click on these three dots, then go to share. You get to share. Then here in this uh, quog, you carry out the setting. Now, if you give them editors access, they will have they will have the authority to change things. But if you only give them the viewer, um, the viewers and commentators option, they'll be able to not only view the product, but they will be able to download the product and print and copy, which would be a good thing to do if you're selling a book or um, maybe you're selling uh, a, yeah, any kind of digital content that you may want to. Okay. Again, like I said, you can add videos, they'll be able to download it, you know, if you wanted to. All right. So uh, let's go over to PayPal now. Now, this is, this might be a little bit tricky uh, because for some reason, for some strange reason, it's very hard to get hold of this particular URL um, directly from PayPal. So I'm going to put it in the description. It is paypal.com forward slash buttons. But for some reason, it's hidden. At least it's hidden from me. I, I, I just spent a lot of time trying to find it. Um, so what I suggest is that if you are aware of how to quickly get that button, please let me know. I'm interested to find out. Anyway, so you 
use that URL, paypal.com forward slash buttons. You log into your account. Like you know, it has to be a business account, which is you can set up for free. Then you go to this button that says uh, buy now. Um, let me let me go back to it and take a look. There are various buttons you can use, but I'm going to choose to use this particular one because it's very simple and straightforward. So you click on buy now. Now you have to configure this. This is your payment part now. So you've got two parts. You got where you host your con where you host your content on, and this is how payment is going to be made for your content. Right, so I'm going to use this, I'm going to call it a referral template one. The price is going to be, uh, let's say $20. Oh no, let's say $1 just in case somebody actually does want to buy it. And then I'm going to call this RE7788. Uh, Oops, 7788. And I'm going to say, okay, I want a large button. That's fine. Let's do a small button. Okay, a large button is good. Um, because you can see the button size is there. Buy now is okay. And I'm going to change that to UK English because that's who I am. And then you go to custom button image. Mm, that's interesting. But I don't have a an image URL that I can put in there right now. Then I'm going to go over here to product description and I'm going to add a message name your message box I'm going to call it referral system then in my description I'm going to say it is called referral system explained and referral system template then I'm going to go down here now you don't really need to complete this because yeah I will click this button because it protects your buttons from from fraudulent changes. It automatically adds you to add this particular um, configuration to the saved buttons. And yeah, I'll, I'll leave that as it's. Then I'm going to come down to this option here, the settings. This is really important. This is a really important part. OK, I'm not charging any shipping or whatever. But I'm going to come down here, which says enter the web address, web page address, where you would like to redirect your customers after they've successfully completed the checkout. So if I'm using, again, the uh, Google Drive, I'm going to go over here and click on share and copy the button because I've already configured it. And if I'm using the paper, uh, the YouTube, I'll come over here and click on here and generate and get the shareable link. That shareable link of either my Google Drive or my YouTube playlist is what I'm going to put into the page right here, which is this. So this is the Google Drive link. Okay. Then here, Enter the web page address where you would like to redirect your customers if they cancel the transaction. It's actually a good thing to put. So I'm going to put my web address contact. If you do not have any website, it doesn't affect it. You don't have to put anything there. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here and tell it to save and create the button. Here we go. Boom. It's done. We're off and running. Ah, guess what? It's created the button, but it's only generated the code that can be used on a website. It has not given us the email link. So what do we do? I've found a workaround. No need to worry. But I want to draw your attention to this. This here, this, this right here, uh, between the speech marks. So for, in, in this case, from H to H, where I've highlighted that is your unique button ID. That is your unique button ID. So if you look at the description, I'm going to show you how to make those changes so that you can generate an email because this code it has given you, normally, sometimes it will put 
by the side of it, it will put email link on the code. It would have a, it would have generated the code and it will have an email link. But if it doesn't, no need to worry. If you look in the description, I'm going to show you, I'm going to paste a code there and show you how to do it. Okay. So now if you want to generate an email link, I'm showing you this on my word, on the, on a word document, which is, uh, let me just remove this. Okay. So now if we go back to the PayPal, I'm going to copy this H S H E S, uh, whatever code, and I'm going to go or numbers and I'm going to go and replace this equal to boom, copy and paste done. This is the email that the email link that you need to generate. So whatever the configuration you've done, whatever options it gives you, where numbers it gives you, you come over to this um, link that is in the description and you paste after the equal sign those numbers, which you find right here in the generated code like i said for some reason it's not given the email code uh but for example let me show you what i mean if i go to my saved buttons and i open uh, let's say i open this one okay and i say i want to uh, view code for example notice that it's given me an email link as well this is the email link i used to generate the code okay or at least part of it because every code is unique uniquely formed so all you need to do is change the end of it the equal to like i said if you look in the description is it will be there all you need to do is add your own unique numbers and letters that are here it will say hidden name hosted button id value boom you copy it and you paste it there and that's it you are done so for our exercise let's check what it looks like so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to open to a incognito window um and i'm going to say let's uh boom let's put the cut let's put the link right there the email link boom i'm saying open and it's see it's telling me okay i can pay and buy this particular product but it's not, it's not going to let me buy it because it's actually my account and you won't be able to buy it with your own account, but someone else will be able to buy it. So you can go test it. It's only $1. If you wanted to, you can go test it and it will be there. Okay. So that's how you can uh, create your own um, button and also sell your product so with this once you've generated your email uh, link as like i said you can send this to anyone who wants to buy your product or you can actually one thing you can do you can copy it go over to bitly <laughs> it's another thing uh we don't have to this is not part of <laughs> bitly sh shortener uh short url go over there uh, uh let me log in um yeah i'm gonna log in there okay continue so i've logged in so i'm gonna go to create i wanted to create a link i'm going to put it right there and title uh is referral system oops let's go referral system template okay so right so i want to customize it i'm going to call it referral system template okay i'm going to tell you to create it's created it right and that's the link right you see it's telling you it's a paypal button so if we just copy this bitly link right here, again, we go over to my incognito page, I click on a new tab, I stick that there and boom, it's going to take me to that paper. 
that's it it's done <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching this video and um, i look forward to talking to you soon i hope to be creating more videos like this that can help you with your business all right talk to you soon thank you bye bye